Hey guys, welcome back. So today on this video, we are talking about your PDF documents and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you write on your PDF documents using just your Mac? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to know how to write on a PDF document anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that contracts go back and forth via PDF and sometimes you need to make corrections or make an addition. So you need to write something in. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's all handled in your Mac. You don't need to download any kind of programs. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already opened up my desktop. Now, in order to type into a document that's PDF on your Mac, first you need to find the document. So for example, right here, I have my passport application. Now, in order to type into this PDF document, you don't want to open it up. What you're going to do is just hover over it and then right click. Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to click right here, open with. And then once you do that, you want to go ahead and choose to open up the PDF document with your preview right here. Okay, so once you do that, the PDF is going to be opened inside of the preview. So in order to type something in, what you're gonna do is just kind of scroll through until you see the section you need to type, and then you wanna click into the section. And then up here on the left, it should say preview. If it doesn't, that means you haven't clicked onto the document. Once you've clicked onto the document and it says preview right here, you wanna go ahead and click on this button here called view. And once you do that, you're gonna see a drop down, and then click on this button here called show markup toolbar. Okay guys, so here is how you can go ahead and type into your document. Up here on the top, you wanna to go ahead and click on this little A. Once you do that, it's gonna give you this text box right here. Now by default, it's usually in red, but don't worry, you can go ahead and change the color. So drag it to where you need. So for example, I'll go ahead and add right here, name of applicant, and then my text is there that we're typing in. And then if you wanna change the text color, just click up here and click on these, I guess, double A's. And then here you can go ahead and change the font and the color. So for example, if we want this to be red, we just click there and you can see the text is red. For me, normally when I am typing into a PDF using my Mac, I'm going to be typing in black. So I'll go ahead and choose black. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and type into this PDF. So let me go ahead and just type here, make money. You can see it kind of moves around. So click out of it and then you can just drag it around so, and then I'll click back into it. Okay. There. Now we just typed into this PDF and as you can see, this application has a lot. So you're just going to keep doing the same thing. So just click the A again and you're going to see a text box pop up here and then just drag it where you want. And then you can go ahead and just type in what you need to type. Okay. So once you're done typing into your PDF on your Mac, what you're going to do is up here on the top, go ahead and click on file. And then you want to go ahead and click on save. Okay. Now it's been saved. So that way, when we send this PDF to whoever needed it, uh, they're going to see the typing that we did into this PDF. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to type into your PDF using just your Mac, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.